Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Japan in Europa Universalis 4. Alright, so I noticed that something really annoying happened down here. Uh, this has been occupied by Hatakeyama instead of us. So somebody came in and stole my occupation, which really sucks. He has given up his siege of the fort. He's ignoring the zone of control and just going straight for Jap the Japanese army with 20,000 troops. I really can't do much about that. I mean, I have 12 regiments, and I do have probably still a tech advantage over some of these guys. Tech 4 here, tech 4 here. Japan's still on tech 3, that's part of the problem. This guy's on tech 3. This guy's on tech 3. That's nice, we should be getting a siege bonus against this guy for tactics difference. But, annoyingly, we have no siege value. Like, no uh, siege speed bonus from Spy Network. While we're at war with you guys, can we actually build a spy network? Yes, we can. Please stop occupying the land that I already occupied. Please finish this siege as well. Come on. 450 days already. That was a long war. As long as they're distracted by sieging down the Emperor, that's good for me. It buys me time to hopefully finish my sieges. Come on! We're gonna end up getting this siege before we get the other siege. He's breached the walls of the fort. He's already at 7% on the capital. He's going for my capital, we can't let that happen. He's taken Japan, Japan's capital. I swear to God, it's at 42%. It's been at 42% for six months. This is brutal. At least, we're, at least they're letting me finish my cores. That's nice of them. Okay, one of these things has got to fall. Come on. Jesus. We need the Diplo points for peace deals. If this thing doesn't fall soon, I'll punch my monitor. You've gotta be kidding me. You you've just you've gotta be freaking kidding me. Two forts fell before I could take either one. Now the garrison's so small, we actually have a bonus. We're at 49%. You wanna bet it's gonna not it's still not gonna fall? Of course not. Why would it fall? Well that's nice. Hey, it didn't fall. That is, like, some of the worst luck I think I've ever seen. 650 days now. That's literally six fails in a row. Oh my god, finally. I'm gonna need money for mercs. We will immediately start coring the province. Our force limit is 13 now. Let's merc up again. 30 days. Unrest. Okay, no, don't do it there. And why did that get transferred to Japan? Excuse me? I didn't transfer that to Japan. We gotta go protect our capital. Okay, we're gonna train up a merc down here then. Okay, we're gonna put the maneuver guy in charge so we can get down there a little bit quicker. Oh my god, this fort now is gonna restrict my motion, motion, but it doesn't restrict their motion? What the hell? And now I can't get to my capital. What a load of crap. I swear to god, that is some of the stupidest crap ever. This isn't even my war. All right, well, we're going to try to sit here for a month. So that we can get this thing back. Unless we don't need it. 
No, if I want that province, we need to occupy it. Blockade. We're going to keep going over the force cement, I think. What the hell? Why did it go to me? Like, why do I have to siege it twice? It should have just gone to me. I can't believe he's going to take my capital because of this stupid fort. Because we sit here for like four years. I can't separate peace. Good news is that I get all this land. More exhaustion, overextension's all fine. Still not gonna let me do anything because of that fort. Okay. At the very least, I'm going to combine my armies, but we're at 15 out of 14, so we're paying an extra 0.73 ducats a month for that troop. But that puts us at 15k troops versus 23k troops. Japan, you got to just surrender, man. I don't even know what he's going to want. You know what he's going to want? He's going to want you to pay war reps, and that's it. I'm the only one defending Japan. What the hell? Oh, man. I suppose at the very least we could try to get our siege leader. In 13th. Stack wipe that guy. Keep those leader, those armies just kind of separated for now. I can't believe I'm losing my capital. God, that's such horseshit. At least we breached the walls, but... Uh, let's see. I need to... Combine these two. I gotta go all the way around to engage that army. Cool. If he takes this other province, it's the only other fort that Japan has, the war score is going to be huge. And we have no other forts. I don't want them to occupy all my land, I don't want them to do anything to me. Two wall breaches in a row is really lucky. We are over the supply limit. Substantially. Supply limit's down to 12. What happened there? Looted modifier is, I guess, causing some issues now. Screw it. I don't care. Keep my army together. It needs to be safe. There's 30,000 troops out there. Like, I, I don't see how we can really turn this around. Ugh, oh, you stupid dummy Japan. Make me the emperor. I'm better. Hey, we actually took that one in 130 days. That's crazy. Now I guess we try to take our capital back? The two siege guy on our capital. Let's put the one siege guy back on this province. Our capital is more important. Our war exhaustion is going to go up like crazy because of this. And even if we do get our capital back, I still don't see how we can win this war. There's nothing that I can really do here. He's got 47 war score right now. We just lost one of our generals, the better combat general. Okay, we're going to hide our army over here. I think we're going to have to go engage these armies while they're separate. Yeah, 
And uh, we're already locked, otherwise I would change the way that we engage so that we could get better flanking. This is not going to go well. Well, we rolled a 3 to their 0. We'll keep that fight going for a little bit. A 5 to their 1, or well, 4 to their 1. S another good roll. Another favorable roll. We're not quite full width. I think we need to uh, retreat on the next bad engagement. We're already getting flanked. You know what? Yeah, it's, it's time to get out. So we killed more than we lost, but uh, we're going to need more mercs. Or we could just let him win. I, I mean, maybe we just do that. I don't even know. I can't cross. Okay, they will remain subjects of Japan. Again, what the hell is up with this CB? They ended up with 50 war score. Japan will be forced to give Hatakeyama 10% of their income and war reps. What are they doing? How is this in the live version of the game? I feel like I'm playing a goddamn beta. For Christ's sake. I don't get it. It makes no sense. Okay. Good job. <laughs> Way to declare war for war reps. And 40 ducats. Alright, well, we're trying to reinforce. We're not over the force limit. The mercs are very expensive. And of course, now we have a truce with freaking everyone, because that's stupid war. Truce with the Japan until 59. Just one year. Okay, that's good. I'm going to attack Japan on my own. Shimazu until 69. Uichi? 69. I had no former allies. I ate all of them. So, I think we go down to, like, no maintenance. We rival Japan if we're allowed to. Uichi, okay, fine, we rival Uichi. Whatever. And next year we just attack Japan. Because... Because I'm tired of the AI doing it. I don't, I don't understand this game. It doesn't make sense. And even though we're kind of low on money, we, we have no loans right now, so I'm going to hire some more, mer some more advisors. We're going to take the, uh... Trade Efficiency Guy, and the National Tax Modifier Guy. Actually, it would have been a good idea to check this first. We could have recruited a, a level 2 guy for one extra ducat. But you know what? We actually really can't afford that, so... Okay, when can we declare war on Japan? That's all I want to do right now. September of next year. September of this year. Even better. Uh, let's try to... Are we allowed to build a spy network against you again yet? Until September of next year, okay. You're, you're all still subjects of Japan, so there's that. Do we have a truce with you? We do. Do we have a truce with you? You're independent now. Let's build a spy network on you. <clears throat> Our cores are coming in rather quickly, because it's all correct, and correct same accepted, accepted culture, so that's good. The, uh, the unrest is pretty high. Uswegi separatists. Again, once these cores come in, then we're going to just raise autonomy in every province. And then, uh, well, we're going to make them into territory states first, and then we're going to raise the autonomy. And then probably give it out to some, some guys. Corruption is costing us a little bit of money. Corruption is actually still growing by quite a bit right now. That's fine, it is what it is. We've got claims on most of this stuff. I still have some spy network efficiency here, so let's get another claim on Japan. That's everything, right? I think so. Our truce with you expires in just a couple short months. Let's raise maintenance. Gonna lose a little bit more money again. Assuming that attacking him is gonna put us at war with everyone else. Yeah. We'd have to fight the entire rest of the Empire. Right now they're spread out. I say we go for it. We're at our force limit. Uh, let's give it a couple months. We could easily do 
two armies that would be sizable enough to actually get some stack wipes in. Favorable terrain is really mostly, I think, around here. That's bad terrain. The family's left behind. Uh, we kind of need the money. <clears throat> Since we're doing mercs, I think we go for this one. Okay, Uswiggy Separatists are at 90% now. And they're upset in Ichigo. Which is... Party Core. We are waiting for the core of Chison. Chison. So can we go another couple months without this 90% firing? 21% chance that it fires the next two ticks. Shoot. That's not good. 14k troops. That's going to cost us some manpower. It's really unfortunate. At least it's flat terrain. We have five maneuver. They've got more shock value than I do. And their army is just as wide. And they've got way more cav than I do. Awesome. Uh, in order to beat this army, I, I need a better general. I can't rely on rolls, or I need more troops. I think we gotta get some more men. Uh, really we should do mercs though. We could also... Uswegi, this is where their cores are. These are two defensive provinces. We might be able to get them to come and engage us in one of these two. How long does it take to march from here to there? October 5th, like a week. So the second that we see him move, I think we'll have time. So he takes that, we get some years of separatism. Let's park half the army in each province. And hopefully the week is about the same. So we just wait, and hopefully he marches into one of our defensive terrain provinces. We're over the force limit. He just did what? He, he rivaled him. I thought he declared war on him. That would be crazy. And of course, there's the core. Higashi, Higashiyama culture. A new culture has been spreading throughout the land based on the ideals and aesthetics of Zen Buddhism and the concept of Wabi Sabi, beauty and simplicity. The tea ceremony. Okay, so reduce tech cost or lose prestige. Sure. That seems good. We could wait till we tech up. That would be pretty awesome for the, for the war for the Empire. I think we'll probably be the first person to tech 5. Japan's still on tech 3, for crying out loud. How many pips do our, our units have? Two. Wow. Two whole pips. Amazing. So good. So many pips. Okay, there he goes. He'll be there on the 8th. We will be there on the 12th. So for a couple days, we'll be flanked. But he's taking a, a sizable penalty. And I think that that's going to probably... Probably work out in our favor. Japan's actually coming over to try to help. YG, thanks, Japan. Okay, I lost a lot of manpower. Let's just consolidate straight up. We're down to one cav. That's fine. Two cav would be ideal. But we're also really starting to run on fumes here. Free stability school. Enforce our heritage. Sounds good. Hmm. Some of these other rebellion chances, like, uh, we gotta square this stuff away. So, next up, I think we need to add all these states. We have four territories right now. Let's add them all as states. We can only have five. We already have that. Okay. Let's see. 21 development and two provinces. Kanto and Tohoku. And Kiyushi. And so, Tohoku was a bad one. Hoko was only 15 development. Kanto... This region down here, and it's even less. Let's make it a territory. We haven't fully cored this, it's just a territorial core.
Okay, so let's do this. I didn't realize we only had 10. Or, sorry, 5 limit. Kyushi. Is this one down here, and it's also pretty crap, but we've already got a core on that, so we got to kind of keep it. Okay, so then of the provinces, or the territories, then we want to do the two largest ones, so... Hokuriku and Chubu. Hokuriku. This is the area of Chubu. Hokuriku. Okay. That puts us at our cap. And, uh, we have some coring available. And we just need to finish that province occupation. We can core that one. Now that they're cored, we can either, uh... Wow, this province has 91% autonomy? That sucks. We could raise autonomy. Or we could just kind of let the rebels fire. It's hard to say. Suffice to say, though, I think we're not going to be going to war for a moment. Certainly not until we get our uh, next tech level, I think. Alright, I'm going to take a break here. I will see you again in the next episode. As always, thank you for watching. I will see you soon.